you cannot become Mahatma Gandhi first and then practice the principle of non-violence. You have to practice the principle of non-violence when you are Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi. That will take you to the level of Mahatma. My dear friends, my hero, who was born in southernmost part of Tamil Nadu, which means he is an engineer. You can study whatever engineering that you want, but you have to work only on the software company. That's the unwritten rule of Tamil Nadu. My hero, who studied mechanical engineering, entered into IT company with the dreams of working on artificial intelligence, automation. But he was asked to work on Excel sheet. He got so frustrated and he decided to quit the job and contest in the upcoming elections. It was election time. Every walls in the streets were adorned with posters and flags of different political parties. The party symbols ranging from cycles to hammers and wheels to bottles. Every contestant has own story to tell and every voter has own tale of who to. Elections, manifesto, campaign, TV blitz, paparazzis were all part of election drama. Everywhere there is a we vote campaign. My hero name is Papura. His party name is Clean and Green Party. A single leaf, a dry leaf crying for help was a symbol. Papu conducted his first election campaign which ended up like empty tin of cookies. When he started his speech, half of them were gone. When he completed his speech, remaining half of them were gone. There were just two donkeys braying at each other. Papu has accompanied by two of his friends and an adorable wife. Normally, the election entourage would be a grand ceremony with mic, music, thundering announcement and large ensemble of people and of course lettering. Papu contested the election without any of those. There were no pamphlets, no posters, no TV ads and of course no corruption. He just moved forward in a humble fellowship of three people home to home, door to door with his old battered motorcycle. Papu once went to the locality of businessman. Some saw his face for a while. Others shut the door on his face. Some teens made fun of him. Some rare gentleman give a patient here. Those rare moments of attention urge him to move on and on. His wife support her reluctantly. Papu darling, you may lose. You don't stand a chance to win against this filthy politics. Their residents booed him. Hey, what is this clean and green nonsense? You must be Natsya. Their friends advised him. Hey dude, you are a software engineer. Why not you can do some coding? What the hell are you trying to prove? The statement, what the hell you are trying to prove, made him smile. He just moved forward to the next door for a next rally, another street for another appeal. His mission and conviction grew. It was election day. Everyone casted their votes. The judgment is going to be on the weekend. All the party workers with their mammoth of followers were assembled in the main counting hall. Papu was standing in the corner with his friends and flag fluttering high. Hardly anybody knows Papu was a candidate. The results were going to be announced any time soon. Papu has got 300 votes out of the million votes casted. Hardly anybody knows Papu was a candidate. His wife fondly recollects all the memories and told Papu, Papu, you saw the results. I told you now, this is what going to happen. Papu stood up like a last fruit in the tree and he walked majestically to his medieval motorcycle and uttered those words. I won. I did not lose. Yes, Papu has won. He stood up and made the point to the world. He is not the one who is simply sitting and complaining, stating that nothing can be changed in the society or the whole world is moving towards apocalypse. It was a victory over millions of masses who just booed and commented, who just sits and laments, who were just pointing fingers. Indeed, Papu has won. After seeing this video, just think about these questions. When there was a persistent power cut in our state a few years ago, how many of us talked to the electricity board and resolved the problem or just switch our homes along to inverters? When there was a water problem in Chennai, how many of us raised any objections or started buying water? When there is accident on the roads, a fight on the streets, how many of us take the phone and make a call to police or ambulance? My dear friends, it's time to take a pen or paper, visit a government office or stood on the ground when there is a problem. Can we at least raise our fingers, if not the revolution?